Hello. What is up, Facebook? How are you guys doing? And welcome. It's Tuesday. It is time for lunch break brought to you by RecTech, powered by Kingsford. We are getting you guys all ready for St. Patrick's Day with some amazing recipes. Well, without any further ado, I'm going to pass it over to my main man, your barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan. What's up, Facebook? How you guys doing today? Welcome, welcome. It is lunch break. It's 12 noon Eastern Standard. We do this absolutely every day. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So please make sure you smash that notification bell, illuminate it. That way you know when we go live because we'd be giving away stuff all the time. Uh, John, do we have a winner to announce or anything this week? Did, uh, did, did Greg uh, give anything away? I don't think he gave anything away. I don't away think he gave away. So we'll make sure that we give something away at the end of the show. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the entire show. This is, uh, we are leading up to St. Patrick's Day. So we don't, this is not Irish week. Uh, we had Irish week last week, but we are continuing it kind of. Uh, yeah. But it is not an entire whole yeah. week. It was actually more longer than a week. Yeah, it was. Irish weeks. Irish weeks. Uh. But we are building up to St. Patrick's Day on Wednesday. That'll be the climax. The girls will have an amazing uh, recipe, a sweeter mm -hmm. version, uh, right. sweet version recipe earlier in the day. And then Chef Greg, myself, and John, we will uh, hit the nail right on the head with a gigantic hammer and climax this whole thing all over the internet, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's right. right. After we will hours. have the uh, St. Patrick's Day climax on Wednesday. <laughs> so make sure you hang out uh, and set that notification bell. I'm Jody Flanagan, your barbecue dad, as well as rec tech expert. And I welcome you here to the rec tech worldwide headquarters in Evans, Georgia. We are sitting on the giant 3,000 square foot rec tech deck. Mm -hmm. uh, it's made of 100% hardwoods, no fillers, no binders, <laughs> no additives. It is 100% hardwood right behind me. And everything behind me is 100% hardwood, including those Kingsford pellets. Uh, today we're gonna be using the signature blend, which is a blend of mesquite, cherry, and oak, it's blended perfectly together, and it only contains those three woods. It doesn't contain any filler woods or anything like that. Um, so that is another cool thing about the Kingsford pellets is they are 100% hardwood, 100% right. the wood that it says it is. No That's binders, right. no fillers. Produces about 1% of ash, you know. Yeah. Um, so a, a whole 20-pound bag will produce a. Yeah, about two percent, about yeah. two pound ish. Yeah, about a quarter ash. pound. Yeah, that's what they said about a quarter pound. About a quarter pound. That's what they said about a quarter pound. Per, oh, it's one percent. Yeah, one percent. I forgot my percentages. You're doing good, though. Buddy. I'm an idiot, but because I'm an idiot, I'm gonna need you guys to smash that share button and get me through this episode. So I'm gonna give you three seconds to do it. Three, two, one, smash, smash it. it. Hit that share button wherever it's at over here. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you ring that red rectangle and ring that notification bell and subscribe to our channel as well as the Kingsford YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget we do this live every Thursday uh, on YouTube. But we need to go ahead and get this recipe started. We're doing Jody's Irish Meat Pies today. You can sign up for this recipe at rectech.com forward slash lunch break. Don't forget Chef John is moderating. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section down yeah. below. Uh, questions including criticism, hatred, mm -hmm. uh, where you're watching from, That's right. how you would do it better. Put all of those things in the comment section down below. I'm going to go ahead and brown up about a pound of lamb. You could also use ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken, uh, whatever you like. Uh, I want to make these extra, extra authentic and Irish. So we're using lamb. Nice. You could also use mutton. Ooh. Yeah, that's lamb that has gotten, it's older lamb that has gotten its incisors. Okay. So you can actually use ground mutton uh, if you'd like as well. You know, uh, veal, you know, any, any ground deliciousness uh, you guys can use. But all we're gonna do, we've got the RT340 rolling with the Kingsford Signature Blend pellets. We've got it sitting at 400 degrees, and all we're doing is browning this meat right now, okay? And browning, we're, gonna, we're breaking it up, and we're gonna try to get it into as small of pieces as possible. And the reason why we want those small pieces is this is gonna be our pie filling, and we don't want giant chunks of meat. You know, we want it to blend well with our veggies, and sauce, so we wanna make sure that these pieces are as small as possible. And again, we're using an RT340 available at regtech.com. It is on sale right now. 
with 220 pounds of pellets for $6.99. It ships absolutely free right to your door. This bad boy, 342 square inches of cooking surface. You can get the uh, additional interior shelf and almost double your cooking area. It comes standard with the bottom shelf with all the stainless steel. So it makes a uh, awesome outdoor grill and it's super, super portable, super small, compact, super versatile. 20 pound hopper on that bad boy. It uses that PID controller. That means that we're, we set it at 400 degrees. This thing is gonna hold 400 degrees, okay, ladies and gentlemen. Now I've also got another 340 sitting over here at 350 degrees. Once we get our meat pies assembled, they're gonna go into this 340 at 350 degrees. And if you only have one, of course, you can turn this bad boy down. But you know what, I want this one ready already so you guys can see uh, and feel the actual liveness of this recipe. Um, but to go over everything that we're using, ladies and gentlemen, I got a pound of lamb back there. You can use any kind of ground beef. Um, I've got some frozen peas and carrots here, uh, some tomato paste, celery, onions, bell pepper. We've got some butter, par cooked uh, purple potatoes. These have been cut into uh, eighths. Why? Because I want them to fit inside of my meat pie. I've got some thinly shredded cabbage here, some Worcestershire sauce, some beef stock. Ooh. That's right, beef stock. And if you're uh, feeling frisky, not very Irish, you can throw some of this garlic in there as well. And again, we're going to be seasoning this with that Ben's Heifer Dust, available at Rectech.com. Um, but John, you got a good question yeah. from the folks out there in Facebook this, land? Yes, sir. This one comes from Quentin Hunter. He asked, you said you were using the signature blend pellets today, right? That's, sir, that's right. Yes, sir. The signature blend pellets from Kingsford. And again, those Kingsford pellets are super readily available uh, at many, many different big box stores and online as well. Uh, so that's why we chose, besides being an amazing uh, brand, uh, over 101 years old, they've got the knowledge, the That's tutelage, right. Right. and they've been through it all. Mm -hmm. um, so they've got the resources and those pellets are super readily available to everybody out there. And uh, that's what makes us happy because we can suggest a product and folks can go out there and actually go get it and use it and have good results with it. Uh, but John, you got another good question? Yeah, this one's coming from Aaron West. He says, when we run the hopper empty every three to four bags of pellets, do we need to vacuum out the dust or do we just run it dry for a few minutes? Yeah, so when you're allowing your grill to run itself empty, uh, I, I do the four to five rule. You want to clean out your fire pot every four to five cooks. You want to let your grill run itself empty about every four to five bags, okay? Um, but yeah, let it run itself empty. If you can get in there and suck out that stuff, it makes it easier. Nine times out of 10, that corkscrew is gonna push a lot of it out. Um, but yeah, you can hit it with some compressed air and shove it out into your fire pot, vice versa. Um, you know, you, but you don't wanna go in there and, and um, if you don't have a vacuum, you don't have to go in there and vacuum it out. You just wanna make sure that uh, you get that stuff uh, to a low, uh, very, very low to non-existent level. Very good question. That's right. All right, Julie, this one comes from Julie. Hey, D. Julie, Morrison. how you doing today? She says 2020 Rec Tech Fest tickets. No, I don't think uh, there's going to be any tickets on sale, uh, but we did announce the date, yeah. uh, May 22nd. Uh, so, guys, make sure you mark your calendars uh, for Rec Tech Fest 2021. It's going to be bigger, badder, and more bodacious yes, sir. Uh, than 2019 ever was. Uh, food, fun, music, drinks, mm. uh, rec tech lifestyle atmosphere. That's right. Jody will be here. Chef Greg will be here. Ray's going to be here. That's it's going right. to be fun. It's going to be an amazing time. Hopefully, we'll be freshly back from Memphis. That's right. Uh, we'll have some barbecue stories for you. Uh, but we encourage you to come and hang out with us May 22nd right here at the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters uh, in Evans, Georgia. Mark your calendars. Go ahead and ask off uh, for work. All right. So we've got our ground lamb here. And it's uh, three quarters to almost all the way done. You guys don't have to cook it absolutely all the way because our, they, it can also continue to cook in those meat pies. So I'm just going to dump this in this pan, and we're going to we're going to start to cook our veggies. And you can see not a whole lot of grease with that ground lamb. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our butter. Get on in here, Sherpa. Oh, that butter's so much harder than it was earlier. And we're going to get. Uh, about two tablespoons of butter in there and we're gonna let that bad boy heat back up 
I'm Jody, gonna go up it in is, temperature to 250 because we're gonna be in and out of this bad boy. Very good question. It is Chris Rodriguez's birthday hey, today. Chris Happy Rodriguez. birthday to you, my friend. Happy birthday. How old is he? Uh, he doesn't say. 21. Yeah, 21. Nice. He's cracking beers, so he's at least cracking 21. He's cracking beers. Well, that's awesome. That's right. So we've got some of this ground lamb, one pound. You can add more if, if you're a super meat person. You can add less if you're a super meat person. This will do uh, about 15 meat pies. Um, we're only going to assemble about five today for you guys, and I've got more. Um, but we seasoned this lamb with that Ben's heifer dust. Don't forget, okay? We're also going to season these delicious vegetables uh, once this bad boy heats up. Um, but these meat pies can be customized however you guys want to do them. You can do them with fruit, you can do okay. them with veggies, you can okay. do them with just meat. You know, I uh, just wouldn't make them too wet. Uh, and I don't fill them up to where they're, they're too um, puffy. That's, uh, that's really the only two things. Um, we experimented earlier by rolling them out and making them a little bit thinner, uh, but those cracked on us. Um, so I wouldn't roll out the dough or anything like that. Um, just go ahead and, and we're gonna do it the easy peasy way by purchasing already made uh, pie shells. But of course you can make your own. Um, John, you know, he likes to do that on the side. You know it. Oh, you know I do. Yep, all the fruity pie shells mm -hmm. that you have. All right, so our butter has melted. We're gonna throw in our onions. Yeah. Our peppers. Okay. And our celery. You can see I got some of those celery leaves in there. Uh, I like that flavor from that, that the celery gives us. And we're gonna let all of those guys just get to know one another, marry together, and sweat down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay? All right, Jerry, I got a question from yes, sir, uh, Mr. Quentin John. Hunter. He says uh, some other pellet grill companies say that you'll lose your warranty if you don't use their specific That's right. pellets. That is right. He said, yep. is, that case, is that the same case with Rectech? No, with a lot of the competitors, you know, they are also in the pellet business. So they want you to use their brand of pellet and spend more money with them. With us, we are not in the pellet business. Um, so you can use any brand of pellet with our Rectech. Uh, it's strong enough, sturdy enough to run off of any brand of pellet. Now you are gonna get different performance you know, with, with uh, a few different brands. But yes, our grill, it will not void your warranty to use any brand of pellet that you choose. And again, the, the best uh, flavor and the best brand of pellet is the one that's, that you can actually get. Right, John? Yeah, sure enough. That's, that's the best kind of pellets. Yeah, the ones sure. you can get and you that's can right. burn. That's right. Uh, so any brand of pellet will work, but that's right. Look it up. A lot of our competitors, uh, it does void your warranty uh, if you do not use their brand of pellet. Okay, so watch out for that. And also, uh, you know, uh, read the warranties. That RT700 uh, has the industry-leading six-year warranty, and it's on everything. It's not uh, two years on this, one year on that, six years on just this. Uh, it's six years across the board on everything. That's awesome. So you're not going to be replacing, a, you know, a controller in two years and having to pay for it, you know, or things like that, like with the competition. John, you got another good question yeah, from the well folks out on Facebook. Yeah. Guys, put your questions in the comment section down below. We're doing Irish meat pies today. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'll give you three seconds to smash that share button in order to win something later on in the show. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it. Smash that share button. All right, this one comes from uh, Justin Crady, but we have a couple of people Ooh, out here who are, so good. who are on the fence about buying a pellet grill because they want a grill, they said, that can smoke, barbecue, potentially right. bake. Absolutely. How do they decide which grill is the best one for them, Jody? Uh, so all of our grills are super versatile. Versatile. They can bake, smoke, sear, grill, even dehydrate, all of them. And uh, you're not going to find the competition getting above 500 degrees. You know, we've got the RT B380 Bullseye that'll get up above 600 degrees. You'll get the uh, RT340 that'll give a buck 600. The 700 will get well above 550 degrees. Uh, so you won't find the competition getting as high or holding those lower end numbers like 180, 200, as well as us. They don't use the PID controllers. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not tried and true. They're not, they're untested. Uh, if they are now using the PID controllers, you know, they have, they've just freshly written that algorithm and they have not ha gone through enough time uh, to perfect it. But we have had that same algorithm um, all 10, 10 plus years in business. Um, but what you really want to think about when you're trying to choose a grill for you is two factors I always start with. How many people you cook for on a regular basis? And then how many, what is the largest number of people that you cook for during the year? Okay, so I use those two things to factor in uh, what size. All of the grills are gonna bake, smoke, sear, grill, dehydrate, 
and do it all and get to those high temperatures, hold low temperatures. So you won't have to worry about picking and choosing there. You don't have to uh, worry about getting some features and not getting the other. You know, especially with the 345, 90, and 700. Those are, those are bad to the bone grills. That's right. All right, so our veggies, uh, they're starting to sweat down. They're starting to get translucent scent. And you can smell that just deliciousness, that savoriness. Okay. So I'm going to add some garlic. This is not very Irish, but I love garlic. And yeah, you got to add that flavor, though, That's Jody. right. That's about four tablespoons of delicious uh, super minced ump chunky garlic. We're going to mix that in with our veggies, and it's going to do us right. Uh, mm. Sherpa, can you smell that? All right, guys, we are using a cast iron skillet on the inside of this 340 today. If you wanted to, you can use the griddle. Uh, you can use, a, a, you know, any other kind of pans, um, but we found that the cast iron skillet is the best way uh, to get all of that delicious flavor uh, into this delicious Irish meat pie. What's up, big? All right, John, we got any good questions from the folks out there at yeah, Facebook Land? This one's coming from uh, Sean Christensen. Hey, uh, Sean? Sean says, do you ever see the day Rectex seasonings will be at a retail store? Oh, well, I wouldn't put it out of our realm of possibilities. So I definitely see in Rectech being a household name within the next couple of years for sure. Um, so, you know, just cross our fingers and uh, hope that we get more and more people in the family and uh, you know uh, that demand is there. That's right, but they could get that stuff at rectech.com right now. Absolutely, you guys can get that stuff shipped right to your door absolutely for free with the purchase of any grill. Um, so just check out rectech.com, R-E-C-T-E-Q.com. We got some amazing specials going on right now. I think they still have $100 off of a wild side, so the wild side is $11.99 right now at rectech.com. You can also get the 340 with 220 pounds of pellets. Um, for $6.99 shipped absolutely free right to your door. That is a heck of a deal. And again, sign up at rectech.com. Just go to rectech.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom of any homepage and insert your email uh, where it says sign up for the newsletter. And that's how you can find out about tips, tricks, sales, specials, that's Rectech right. Fest, uh, all of that good stuff. Um, the folks that signed up for the email probably found out about Rectech Fest uh, a little bit quicker than you guys did sure today. Sure did. Sure enough did. But man, come in here and look at this Sherpa, that butter, that Ben's heifer dust, that garlic. Man, that onion, celery, and bell pepper. Oh, yeah, Lord. Smells so that's good out here. That's what all of good, that's what the Lord is made of right there, all uh -huh. that goodness. All right, so we're going to put in about a cup and a half of thinly shredded cabbage. Okay. It's making it super, super Irish. Now, John, this would also make a really, really good stuffing for like some Irish egg rolls. Ooh. Buddy. Uh, or something along those lines. So you just put that in an egg roll wrapper and essentially Absolutely. just fry it? Fry it up, baby dog. All right, so we've got uh, some beef stock here. I've got some tomato paste that we're going to add to it. And again, all of these measurements, sign up for the recipe at rectech.com forward slash lunch break. We've got some Worcestershire sauce as well. We're just going to let all of this get to know one another get to savor in the flavor. That's what I'm talking about, Jody. Um, I need everybody to smash that share button. Three, two, one, smash, smash it! Because you know you know somebody who is going to want to make these delicious pies. And if you guys uh, don't want uh, the tomato paste, you can use uh, ketchup, you know, you can use cocktail sauce, you can use anything that you like. And again, We've got the 340 set at 450 degrees now because we're in and out. That's right. And that's going to help us maintain that 400 degree temperature. Uh, but we've got that freshly and thinly shredded cabbage. And because I want to, and because I love it, I'm going to throw a little bit more butter in there to kind of speed up yes. this cabbage process here for us. Come on, butter. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. We're going to close that. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Let's get, let's get a little bit more stuff ready. Get our mise en place. And it's very important to go ahead and prep all your veggies. You know, go ahead and get everything ready already That's right. when you're making these bad boys. That way it just goes by a lot smoother, much more easily. Um, so we've got a cheat. We just used this already made 
pie crust. Okay. So a little bit of flour down here on our board just so it doesn't stick. And then roll these out. And you want them to be still very, very chilled when you're working with them. But easy peasy. Lemon squeezy will take cookie cutter here or any large ring. About what? Five inches, John? Yeah, about five inch ring. We'll cut out. This will make five out of this pie shell, pie crust. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, everybody. Don't ever think it. Work it all back together. Get some of that flour on there. Okay. Waste not, want not Waste kind of thing. Waste not, want not, baby. I like it. And then this is going to be your good one because this is going to be a little bit bigger than the other ones. So this is the one you're going to make for yourself. So when you're choosing what's going in this bad boy, make sure if you like a lot of cabbage, make sure a lot of cabbage ends up in the big ones because you're making them and they're yours. That's right. Now, Jody, we got a question from Bob Carr. Hey, Bob, how he, you doing today, Bubba? He says, if you're uh, coming into Augusta for Rec Tech Fest, what's yep. the best airport to fly into? <laughs> well, Bob, are you flying your plane uh, or are you getting flown? Um, so there is, uh, there's a couple of different options for you. Bush Field uh, is uh, the Augusta AGS, yep. I think it's, I think it is the, the three, the three letter thing. Yeah, AUG. Uh, I don't think it's AUG because that's Augusta, Maine. I think uh, it's AGS. Uh, AGS. Uh, but it's, Bush, it's called Bush Field, mm -hmm. I believe, still. Yep, uh, sure is. They have a private and uh, Delta and American fly yep. in through there. Or you can go to Daniel Field which is you have to be flying your plane or have a personal. Yeah. Uh, but that's like right plane. in the middle of town. Daniel that is right in the middle of town. It's a good spot. There's a golf course by there. That's not, right. not the one you're thinking of. Um, but yeah, co good couple of options. Heck, you can even fly in. Uh, heck, Burke County out there has, a, has one that you can fly in. There's a couple of different counties on the outside if you don't even feel like getting in the hustle and bustle of Augusta. All right. So we've got that cabbage. Good Lord, at the deliciousness. It just looks, it's just perfect. Now we're going to mix it in with all the other, we're going to mix all these veggies together. They're going to get to know one another. They're yes. going to they're going to introduce themselves. They're going to start dating, <sighs> dating. You know, they're going to get married. They're going to have babies. And that's what we want to eat. We want to eat those food babies. Hold hands walking down the Augusta River Walk. Now, Jody, if anyone wants to send us anything, anything for no, us to yes, try. Yeah, we would love for you guys to send it. We'll open it on Mail Day Mondays. Uh, we do that live on Instagram. Please uh, just put in uh, RE or attention, Mail Day Monday 4301, Evans to Locks Road, Evans, Georgia 30809, and we'll open it live on Instagram, okay? All right, so we've blended our delicious liquid together. Oh, We're going to add a little bit more of that seasoning. Ben's Heifer Dust, available at Rectech.com. It's great on everything. It's my all go-to for, for most stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Mm, yes. All right. So we'll come back to the grill. We got that pan nice and hot again. Dump in our meat. Yes. Okay, we're going to let everybody get to know one another in this sense as well. We want that meat to season that cabbage, season those vegetables and vice versa. We want those veggies to season that meat before we add that sauce and before we combine everything to make our delicious patty filling. And again, this is great egg roll filling, great egg roll in a bowl filling. You guys can just put this in a bowl. It's absolutely delicious. All right, so that'll get to know one another for a couple more minutes. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And we'll get our pie crust ready. Now we're going to put these on our stick-resistant cooking mat. One of my favorite accessories One, at RecTech. Yeah, hands down, yeah. you got to get it. It's super cheap and super, super versatile. But stick-resistant cooking mat, mesh cooking mat. Yep. Okay. Uh, you can put it in the dishwasher. You can hand wash it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't ever think it. But it'll go. It'll fit in every grill. Now the 340. Um, a little bit of it sticks out. 
That's okay. It's okay. Don't don't freak out. You can cut it. You can bend it. You can fold it. You can you bop it. Let it stick out. Hey. Well, just sometimes a little sticks out. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, but we're doing Irish meat pies today. If you guys are just now tuning in, this is lunch break. We do this live every Tuesday right here on Facebook and every Thursday uh, on YouTube. Okay. Don't forget that. I'm Jody Flanagan, Barbecue Dad, your Rec Tech expert and Barbecue Dad. So if you have any questions regarding the grill, uh, please put them in the comment section down below. Welcome new owners. Um, welcome old owners. We love you guys. But uh, if you got any new newbies out there, if you have any crazy questions, feel free to ask them during the live shows. You know, no questions are off the table. There's no such thing as a stupid question. That's we right. love, we know we have to answer them. That's part of the job. Uh, but we want you to feel comfortable. We want you to knock that first cook out of the park each and every time. Each and every time. So that's why we're here. That's it. You can also email me, Jody at Rec Tech. You can uh, email him, Chef John at Rectech, or Chef Greg at Rectech.com. Don't hesitate to reach out via email either. All right, so everything has gotten to know one another. It's, it's bubbly, bubbly. It's deliciousness right now. It looks great, okay. Jody. So now we're going to add our sauce. Ooh, yes. Dump that sauce on in there. Let that, let that meat get nice and saucy. And I keep wanting to throw my spatula away. But if it looks a little wet, that's okay. Because it once we put those potatoes in there and the peas and carrots, it's going to yes. dry right on up. Okay, once that sauce goes in there, we're going to let it heat up and flavorize and tenderize and moisturize and all of the good eyes words. But John, you got a good question. I see it in your beautiful brown eyes. Well, a lot of people want to know, uh, since there are no parades and everything, what is going to be going on at the Flanagan household for Thanksgiving? I mean, for Thanksgiving. So it's, it's, it's two holidays. Well, it's three holidays. We celebrate Becky and I's engagement, oh. John Dillon's birth, Whoa. and the patron saint yes. of Ireland. Whoa. Um, so we're going to be celebrating those three things. Okay. So John Dillon gets awoken with a balloon surprise. Okay. He gets a bunch of balloons thrown at him in his bed and I wake him up and he's like, yeah, it's my birthday. Nice. Bre breakfast, uh -huh. green eggs and ham. <laughs> uh, Becky and I will likely go to lunch and celebrate the yep. birth of our child and our engagement. There you go, y'all's love. Got after hours. Yep. We'll have the St. Patrick's Day climax. Yes. And then when I go home, we'll celebrate again. I love it, Jerry. That birthday cake. Nothing and, but celebration you know, no, it's on all, St. It's, Patrick's Day for gotta you guys. Gotta celebrate. Um, but, so I've already gotten, I'll just dump all this stuff in the pool and let it get, let it get to going. Yeah. I've already waited long enough. So once everything flavorizes and gets to know one another and bubbly bubbly and goopily gop, you throw it all together. And again, the starch in these potatoes is going to thicken this up and, and make it to where it's just unimaginable, del unimaginably delicious. And again, it's getting kissed by that Kingsford signature smoke 100% of the time. So that's really adding to the deliciousness, adding to the flavor, like you're cooking it over a, a real fire. That's what I was talking about. Firewood oven. All right, so we've got some already made already's. And I like cool to down, let it cool right? down. Yeah, yeah it's very said. important to let it kind of cool down so you're able to work with it. But I'll take these little patties. Ooh, okay. Don't overfill them. Okay. And I just like to get all of the, everything kind of packed down. Okay. And make a little dumpling type deal. And then I'll take my fork. Not too hard because you'll press it down into your cutting board. That is what I'm talking about. Look at that finesse. But look at that. That's just pretty. Okay. Super pretty. So we'll put it on our stick resistant cooking mat and we'll keep on filling. And again, I cut, I cut these uh, potatoes kind of big. You don't want that because again, you need, you want even distribution all in these bad boys. Now, Jody. Stuff them, pack them, and then fork them. What, John? If the people out here need to talk to a real live person, they have a question about their grill, they want to just talk to somebody and get yeah. the grill problem worked out, what do they need to do? So guys, the cool thing about being part of the Rectech family is when you call here, you're going to speak with somebody that is part of the Rectech family as well. All Everyone who answers the phone here is going to own the grill and use it regularly. 
So when you call with a situation or a question, these folks have already gone through that situation in real life, like themselves. You know, you're not calling a call center that's, that's being farmed out, um, you know, in a different state. Everybody you call is working right over in that office right up there. It's a real person. They own the grill. They use it regularly. They compete amongst themselves out here mm -hmm. on the Rec Tech deck. They go sure through uh, employee academies. Uh, there's a lot more investment into our employees than that Rec Tech does than any other company. Because the other companies will just farm out all of that tech support, all of that uh, customer support, you know, to, to a crew, That's right. to a phone crew. That's right. You know, we hire those folks in-house. They live the Rec Tech lifestyle. They're going to get you your issue resolved. And heck, if they don't, the cool thing is, you, when you purchase a grill from us, you get the personal cell phone number yeah, sure of enough. both of our owners as well as our general manager. So if you don't feel like you're getting taken care of, you can go right to the top of the totem pole, you know, and get your issue resolved. And that's the same exact phone number. They've had the same exact phone numbers for over 10 years. They've been giving out those same exact phone numbers. And you bet if they never made it right or if they did something that wasn't right, True. somebody would psycho dial them and make them change their number. Sure enough, Jody. But they, they've got the same exact numbers. They haven't changed their numbers uh, in the years that I've known them. But that is the, that is the you know, eye, most eye-opening thing for me. For sure. For sure. Because I'm sure I would have already have upset somebody by now <laughs> if I was the owner. Somebody calling me and talking smack about my baby. That's so funny. All right, this question is coming from Dean uh, Anderson. He says, hey, What's up, Dean What Anderson? seasoning did you use in the meats and veggie? Uh, Ben's Heifer Dust. Or you can use Colden's Freakin' Greek. Uh, those are the, the two most <laughs> Irish seasonings. They also don't have any sugar in them. Uh, Irish seasoning, um, you know, is very, very basic. You don't want to use anything bougie because, again, they didn't have that stuff back in Ireland. Sure. You know, uh, salt, pepper, that's, that was it. So you can see that this one is going to be gigantic, but I'm going to make it look pretty. Just yeah, watch. Boy. Just watch. Jermaine Gould is out there, hey, Jermaine. Jody. He says, Chef Jody, my grandmother says you're oh. doing, a, doing a great job forking <laughs> Those meat tell, pies. You, tell your grandmother that we said hello <laughs> and we appreciate her for watching all right so that's not very pretty at all but we'll take our knife and we can we can pretty that up if we want to and we want to because again you, you eat with your eyes first ladies and gentlemen bless you Sherpa it's a nice looking pie huh looks delicious that's a little too sharp for me I don't want it to poke me all right so We've got the RT340 set at 350 degrees. These will take about 15 to 20 minutes to, to brown up. And I like to hit it with a little egg wash. A little, one egg and a little bit of water. Make these things beautiful on the outside. Mm -hmm. Don't overthink it. If you put too much, it'll be too soggy. Might break, might crack. But these look pretty. These things are so pretty. But Irish meat pies, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Don't overthink it, everybody. Okay. Tree fitty, burning the Kingsford Classic. We'll use the cooking mat to transport everything. That's another reason why I like it. We'll close these, and they will be done in about 10 to 15 minutes, John. Nice. Chef John. Sure enough. Easy peasy, right? Uh huh. I Don't like overthink it. it. Why are you overthinking it, everybody? Now, um, all you newbies out there, keep the lid closed. There you go. Keep your lid closed. When you open that lid, you're going to immediately lose all of that heat that that grill worked pretty diligently and hard for. You're going to make it continue to work. So keep your lids closed. Um, you don't have to fill your hoppers up, newbies. You don't have to fill your hoppers all the way up. Uh, your grill uses about burns about a pound per hour. Okay, uh, and that's at 350 degrees, so you're going to be burning more at higher temperatures and less at lower temperatures. But you don't have to fill your hoppers up, okay? Um, a lot of folks will just dump everything in there. You don't have to if you want to. You know, some folks like to change out pellets, mm -hmm. but when you don't fill your hopper up, that makes it just a little bit easier. Um, the newbies out there, some folks like to put that gasket material on their lids. Now, we're not saying that your grill won't work with, with the gasket material and other different modifications. But when you want it to do specific things, yes, um, that gasket material, if you want to get up to super high temperatures, is going to give you issues because you, it's going to be restricting airflow. Um, you know, some other modifications, you know, are going to affect you at lower temperatures. OK, 
okay? Um, so we're not saying, you know, don't do those things, but we're saying that, you know, when you call here asking us, you know, hey man, I'm having issues, you know, our folks are gonna ask you if, if you've got all of those things on there. And nine times out of 10, it's that modification that you do to the grill that's gonna give you an issue. Um, but again, some folks want to modify all of their stuff. They want to make sure. it theirs. It's true. So to each his own. All right, so we've got some of these delicious Irish meat pies already ready already, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Now Don't again, you? hold on, John, let me explain it. Okay. Uh, we did uh, roll these out, and that's why they cracked up, and that's why they split on us. So if you do like we did, like I just showed you, and you, I didn't use the rolling pin, um, they won't split or crack on you like these did, but they look pretty still. They look delicious. They still look pretty. Did you flip those halfway through, Jay? No, sir, I did not flip them. I just uh, let them cook on that mat. Again, that's a mesh mat, so that heat and smoke are able to penetrate uh, and cook up underneath it. And you guys can tell the, the big one, who the big ones are for. Mm -hmm. But those look absolutely amazing. Thank you, Chef John, for taking those off early for me. Yeah, no problem. But we'll go ahead and bust into one of these. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys ready? All right, smash that share button. I'm about to let all of this deliciousness just ooze on out of here. I'll give you three seconds to do it. Three, two, one, smash, smash it. it. Oh, yeah, look at that meat pie deliciousness right there, yeah. baby. Look at that right there. That look good, don't so it? So good. Mm. Treat yourself, America. Oh. oh. Look at that. It almost looks like a little heart. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> Irish, I love you. I mean, kiss me, I'm Irish. Irish, I'm kiss me, I don't know. Jody, that looks absolutely uh, amazing. Richard Hudson asks, about how long from start to finish? Mm. Ooh, that looks great. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's good. Oh yeah, you're making it look Lamb's very that. traditional. Yeah. But I just love all the textures in there. You know, the onion, the celery, the the bell pepper, the celery, the peas. I'm a texture eater and I love all those textures in there. Again, we let these cool. Uh, if you heat them, I would enjoy them warm. Uh, they're absolutely delicious. I don't want to eat too much because, again, that's against my diet. <laughs> um, but, John, you had a good question. Yeah, they want to know how long did they cook for and okay. how long it was from start to finish. Uh, so, start to finish, you know, you're about 20 to 30 minutes cooking the inside. From start to finish, uh, you're about 10 minute, 10 to 20 minutes uh, cooking the pie itself. Okay. Um, so you're about 50, 60 minutes uh, when you start your prep to the, by the time you're eating. But very good question. Again, I used that cast iron skillet uh, and I preheated the 340 to 400 degrees. Once I started opening and closing that lid, I turned it up to 450 degrees. Okay. Uh, because again, I'm opening and closing that lid. We're letting out a lot of that heat. So I want it to heat up a little faster, a little quicker. So I turned it up to 450. When we uh, cooked these meat pies, they were at 350 degrees and they take between 10 to 20 minutes. Just keep an eye on them. Uh, you don't want them too dark. Uh, they'll look burnt. Um, we use the uh, Ben's Heifer Dust as our seasoning today. We cooked them on the RT340. They absolutely did an amazing job. Sure Held temperature perfectly, got up to temperature and uh, recuperated the temperature very, very quickly. Um, we used the Kingsford Classic blend pellets. No, it was the Signature. Yeah, the Signature was the That's right. mesquite. That's right. Cherry and oak mixed together. Mm. John, you got another good question? I got two questions. Uh, we'll wrap it up for you. Uh, first one's coming from Keith. Hey, he Keith. asked, could you do these on the 380 bullseye? Shoot, yeah, Keith. Um, but what I would do is I would uh, probably stack them closer towards the center or even get yourself a half pan, put it right there on your deflector shield. That's gonna create a more indirect environment for you. Um, but 350 degrees would be the perfect temperature uh, on that bad boy as well with that more indirect environment. All right, last question comes from Jim. He said, on the bullseye, up to what temperature can you use the grill mat? So uh, on the bullseye, uh, under 400 degrees. When you get above 400, those flames start shooting up um, and uh, the uh, cooking mat cannot take direct flames, okay? So if you're gonna have something that's really, really greasy, or if, you're, if you may have a grease fire, I would steer away from using that grill mat um, and more towards like a metal mesh mat, you know, something like this. Uh, that way it, it doesn't burn uh, or deteriorate, but, 
Again, under 400 degrees, you should be good because again, the flash point of grease is above that, right above that 400 degree mark. Um, so anything 375 and below, you are good to go using that Rectech cooking mat, but a very good question. Yeah. Um, but you can go uh, up to any, really any temperature on the 345, 9700, um, because again, you have less chance of yeah. that direct fire, but that's the awesomeness about the bullseyes because there's only one piece of metal between the meat and the heat. Yeah. You get more of that direct fire action. Uh, and you could turn it into a more indirect cooker super, super easily, mm -hmm. uh, or a more direct cooker, you know, however you want to use that bad boy. But don't forget, go to rectech.com and check out the sale that's going on for the RT340. You're getting uh, 220 pounds of pellets and the 340 for $699. There's also the RT850 wild side for $1199. And again, uh, no winner to announce, that's but right. you guys hung in there to the end of my meat pie episode. So we're going to give away. Um, man, what is it? Our 17th. So we're going to give away seven show shirts. Ooh. All right. So we'll get seven different winners. There you go. All you guys uh, have to do is share this video. Love this video. So go ahead and do that. I want to see a bunch of hearts. Go ahead and hit that heart button. That's right. Hit that care button. Hit that heart button. The laugh one too because I'm funny. <laughs> uh, and then smash that share button. We'll give you three more seconds to do it. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it. Smash that share button. You at least got to do those two things. And in the comment section down below, John, yes. what should we put? Comment, uh, what is it? It's hashtag St. Patty's Day. I don't, I don't like to say Patty's. I say Patrick's Day. Then. Hashtag uh, St. Patrick's Day. Let's, let's leave that one for Wednesday. Oh, well, I thought we were building up to it. Uh, Hashtag best grill ever. <laughs> Hashtag best grill ever in the That's comment great. section down below. Love this video and share this video. You can be one of seven winners. Seven winners. Seven winners. Seven winners. All of you guys are getting a shirt. Crack Gosh up. darn it. We're celebrating Irish week. We thank you so much. Um, but let me see here. I did forget something. Hold on, everybody. <laughs> what is it now? I'm forgetting. But it looks like it, uh, it's gonna rain. Um, what do you call dangerous precipitation, John? What do you call dangerous precipitation, Jody? I don't know. Maybe rain of terror? Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 that was get your dad joke of the day. Brought to you by Shinerbach Beer. Go out there and get yourself a Shinerbach. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you watch tonight, well today at what, four o'clock? Today at 4 o'clock, Twitter tweets. Tuesday tweets. Tuesday tweets. Uh, make sure you tune in for the girls tomorrow, Wednesday at noon. That's right. And then the climax of after hours. Don't forget to watch that. Make sure you smash that share button. Love this video. And put in the comment section, hashtag best grill ever. You can win a show shirt. We're giving those away like candy. Candy. Uh, from everybody here at the worldwide headquarters of Rec Tech. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And we will see you at, at the, the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Do 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 Rec Tech Lifestyle Set it mm -hmm. and come get it you know. When the sun starts going down Good Lord Live your life the way you like It's Rec Tech Lifestyle Do 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 Burn down Do 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 Burn down Do 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 Rec Tech Lifestyle